Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Fioleno TV. I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, the Azimio Laumoja and Kenya Kwanza affiliated senators have now made a unified move to make major reforms at the IEBC. So, in a bill that was sponsored by the minority leader, Stewart, that is Senator Stewart Mazayo, and Majority Leader Aaron Cheriot at the Senate, the leaders have proposed a long-term jail and fines of millions for election officials should they commit critical offenses. So in this bill, among the offenses mentioned is knowingly delaying of announcing the final results of an election. It will also be an offense punishable by the imprisonment of up to five years if electoral officials oversee an election in an gazetted police session. So it's alleged that if the bill is passed, it will be wrong for an IBC official to prevent any person from voting at polling stations they believe and understand such person is entitled to vote. You know, this is what Stuart Mazayo and Aaron Cheriot have brought to the Senate. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is now the reason why I decided to bring this analysis. I want us to explore this bill. It talks about millions of uh, in terms of fine. It talks about a five-year uh, term, uh, jail term, that is the limit. It's up to five years. So that means you can be, even be jailed for one year, two years, three years, four years. But it's up to five years. So before you delve further into this bill, please take one of your second, go below there, and like this video. Mind you, if you like this video, that is the only way YouTube shares this video. And by the way, it will be so important if you like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are viewing this video. Those who supported us before, thanks so much for giving this channel an opportunity to grow. So in an ex-handle by the name Mzalendo, there is a statement there that a bill proposing a five-year jail term or a fine of not more than two million for IABC officials found guilty of committing electoral offenses has been tabled before the Senate. And I think in a, in a gazette, it was also showcased. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, it was showcased there that Bill 6, heavy fines, all jail time for IABC officials who bungled polls. So this is, in other words, to say that, for example, if Chebukati was found guilty of bungling the election, he was to be fined $2 million to be jailed up to five, uh, up, up, up to five years' term. To me, I think this is still being lenient of these people. If you jail someone for up to five years, meaning you can even jail this person for one year, or even six months, or even three months, and this person has been paid millions, you know, this person can decide to go to jail for that period and then buy himself out of that uh, prison. And when that happens, you know, or maybe he can go to jail, but, but while in jail, be given preferential treatment because he is someone who has money. You know, this is still being lenient of these people. The jail term should be even up to 20 years. I mean, it should be between 10 to 20 years so that it makes it, uh, it's, it, it scares those people who want to, you know, play rogue in elections. Two million is too little. Someone can pay uh, an, an, an IBC official five million. You know, so that when you get, you, when you're found guilty, you can pay the two million. Still remain with three million. So I think this, Bill, however good it sounds, but it's still lenient on these people. It is not as threatening as it ought to be. It would have been said that maybe if you're called guilty, let's say, for example, if Chebukati or Isaac Hassan was found guilty, or maybe the IABC CEO, Marjan, if he's found guilty, maybe we say he can be jailed from 10 years and above. You see, if you're told that you'll be jailed from 10 years, now there you'll be scared. That is, even if you are paid 2 million or 3 million or 4 million by uh, a politician 
who wants to secure that a position by force even if you paid that much and you to stay there for five for 10 years you know 10 years is a lot of time you might be scared and even go to an extent of saying i don't want your money let me just do my work so i think by giving it a harsh term of like 10 years and above it will serve a good purpose but the mere fact that they are bringing this uh, bill to parliament but it is to it's 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 up to you know five years up to five years and then they're saying it's a fine of two million this is still being lenient to these people they will not be scared by two years one year someone will say what i mean if for one year then when i when i when i finally come out i will enjoy my millions you know but if you tell that person that you'll be jailed for 10 years that person will be scared will not even attempt to steal elections because Atako jail for that period of time, which is long, you know, 10 years for someone who is 60 years. That means that Atako uh, jail like you're 70 years, unless there's a presidential uh, pardon along the way. So again, we find this uh, move, I, I mean, it should be made, in fact, in the, in the bill, it should be made that possible that even a presidential pardon cannot save you. You just have to complete those years. Umalize miyaka yako yote hapo, alafu ndi utoke. So personally, I think that is the case. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to rest my case here. But what do you think of this bill by Mazayo? You know, Mazayo, Senator Mazayo, minority leader. And uh, uh, is from Azimio, you know. Uh, Azimio, minority leader. Senator uh, Stuart Mazayo. Then the majority leader, Aaron Cheriot, is a uh, UDA or, or Kenya Kwanza in uh, entirety. So... They are, they could be planning for something good for uh, uh, the nation, but the punishment, the punishment to be given to these people who bungle elections. You know, bungling election, una, una, mtu ame campaign, ame tumia pesa, yeah, ame tumia pesa, convinced voters. Now voters have sided with, with this person. They voted for him. I love someone there pale kwa polling station ama polling center mawapi anabadilisha hiyo you see that is why they are, they are bringing this bill you know wakibadilisha hiyo that means the will of the people is not uh, is not uh, represented so that's why most of the time you find that leaders who uh, uh, take over those leadership positions sio wale walichaguliwa then they end up not delivering then you blame them you see we voted for you you're not helping us but the fact here is that they bought that position so these people who, who, who allow that kind of act to happen are the ones who are supposed to be punished. I think they're the ones whom Senator Stuart Mazayo and Aaron Chiriot are, are, are actually targeting the small fish. But the big fish like the IEBC chair, the commissioners, the CEO, and uh, the rest of those big wigs in, in IEBC, those ones should be given harsh penalties, jail times. Jail terms ambazo zinazofanya waseme ah tawe mambo ya kuiba kura tawe you know tawe is a movement that uh, we always see with uh, the transoia politics of Natembea but that is just a, a, for another day but for this case of Stuart Mazayo and majority leader Aaron Cheriot tawe to electoral malpractice so ladies and gentlemen perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed Please take one second, subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video. So until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.